Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Faith Connection 777. We are going to do a general reading for you today. Love, career, whatever comes out, we will take a look at. These are general readings, though, however, so not all of these messages are going to resonate with everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. I really appreciate it. Also, guys, I have a new channel. It's called Faith and Fire Tarot. I will link to it below. I, f I encourage you to check it out. I'll do more love and career readings over there. All right, let's see what's coming in for Scorpio, December 2020. What is going on? Spirit, what do we need to know about Scorpio during this time? This is the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. I'll see what messages I can pull from the imagery out of these cards. We have the Pachamama. I had this card on a different reading, number 40. Um, and how I read it, you know, in my other reading was, there's some kind of disappointment, but moving forward. However, we'll get into the tarot and figure out what's going on with this. All right, let's figure it out. Let's see, we have the Muse Tarot here. It's a fairly new deck I'm working with here. I really love these images. Let's see what's coming in for Scorpio, December 2020. What does Scorpio need to know? What are they going through at this time, Spirit? December 2020, what's going on with Scorpio? We have the Nine of Materials, basically the Nine of Pentacles. Someone here is single, working hard, happily okay being alone or on their own here. You could be in a relationship and be alone as well. But this, this is the card of somebody who is finding happiness within and not relying on a relationship for it. We have two more. We have the Six of Materials, so some kind of partnership here. And we have the Six of Swords, some kind of leaving, the parting of ways in, from something here. We will find out. One more here. One more for Scorpio, December 2020 spirit. We have the Muse of Voices. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. There's some conflict here. There's some struggle happening here. I'm not going to lie. Okay. We have you moving on away from something or someone that is no longer serving you. We have a situation where um, it looks like you're leaving a partnership. Okay. Finding happiness and solace within yourself in a situation. Um we have the muse of voices here, which I really kind of look at as you're deeply in your thoughts over your life, possibly contemplation of your existence going in depth. And then we have this seven of wands, some kind of having to stand up and defend yourself in some way here. Let's clarify. Let's get some more clarification on what's going on. possible you guys have been taking a time out kind of I, you know like kind of like the hermit card we have the tower card coming out here and we have the empress so someone is a divine feminine in this story and then we have the tower okay so there's a sudden change in your life here you're either coming into alignment with your divine feminine energy here that it doesn't matter male or female it doesn't matter there's a sudden change here in your life that is setting you on an interesting path here. We have a five of pentacles here. So I think here we have a re feeling rejected, left out in the cold. This could be something that you have been thinking about your entire life, okay? This is something that's weighed heavily on you, um, looking for acceptance, looking for uh, possibly feeling uncomfortable in family situations or not feeling complete or whole within yourself because you're lacking something from the outside, whether this is something going on in your childhood. 
But there was some kind of moment of clarity or some kind of aha moment that came to you, Scorpio, or that is coming to you that's going to help you realize your worth and what you bring to the table and it's all within yourself, okay? I think that you're possibly deep in thought about these matters. You're very um, thinking about how you were raised and what it all means, thinking about why am I here? Why have I gone through what I've gone through? Um, it, it leaves you feeling a little bit numb here. The person in this photo feels numb. Um, almost like kind of tired and really possibly fighting internally with yourself for how you felt your life should have been or what should have happened in your childhood that you know, you're comparing yourselves to others and why were you not given the same opportunity as others or why were you not raised in a way that, um, that it, I feel like there was some kind of self-worth attached to that as well, okay? And feeling like you're having to defend yourself all the time and um, not completely tell your entire story because people might judge you, okay? But I think that you are, with this Nine of Pentacles, finding that happiness within yourself, finding that um, being proud of who you are and where you came from and how you were raised may not have been what you would have wanted for your life. But I think that a lot of you are coming into a um, an energy of understanding and being kind to yourself, understanding that there wasn't anything that you could do to change whatever it was that that was in your life and um and coming into some kind of acceptance of who you are and where you came from and loving yourself and being happy with yourself finally for the first time in your life okay um this is a very sudden change for you scorpio okay this divine feminine energy, if you consider yourself a divine feminine or if you have, I mean, everyone has divine masculine and feminine energies within themselves. And I think that you are embracing and loving yourself at this time. Okay. You know, you may have felt left out in the cold and rejected in your past or even as a child, possibly um, from a parent situation. Um, but I think that you are, are starting to nurture yourself. You're starting to take care of yourself. You're starting to know where your worth is. And that's a very beautiful thing. And you're leaving behind all of these notions of how you think things that were supposed to be in your life. You're letting those notions go. And that's a really beautiful thing, Scorpio, because um, this is going to set you free to be happy and live a fulfilled existence. Awesome, awesome. This is a little bit cryptic at first. Um, but you know, a lot of you are leaving a partnership that was not making you feel whole. Okay. This person was not, um, embracing you for who you are. You fit, may have felt like you had to defend yourself all the time with this person. And, uh, you're really releasing that at this time. And I think that's a beautiful thing. That's part of this whole process where you're finally coming into alignment with your true self feeling whole within yourself and that is a beautiful beautiful thing let's see what um what other messages i can pull out of this i'm gonna see what else i can get here Just tell me more about scorpio spirit what is the outcome for them in december show me the outcome for scorpio in december some of the main energies or what they're going to be doing or thinking or Scorpio, December 2020 spirit, what is on their mind? What are they doing? What are they, what are the, what's the main energy for Scorpio, December 2020 spirit? And we have the page of wands. Awesome. I think a lot of you are starting to feel like a kid again. Okay. Okay, this is so beautiful. Reconnecting with the person you were when you were a child, okay? This is inner childhood kind of stuff, okay? Um, 
and this is a lighter, happier version of yourself, Scorpio, this is awesome, okay? Start thinking about yourself as a child and start uh, working through, if you've had past trauma as a kid or some experiences you haven't worked through now as an adult, now is the time for you to uh, go through some of those issues that you dealt with and start talking to yourself very kindly and helping you heal from those past hurts, okay? I really feel that strongly for you, Scorpio. Take a moment to really um, care, you know, you as an adult now can care for yourself as a child. So you're basically just, I know it sounds kind of interesting, but you're talking to yourself and you're giving caring, kind words to yourself. It's okay, Scorpio, you, it wasn't your fault. Whatever this was that you dealt with or whoever treated you badly, these were, this was not your fault. It does not play into your value. This was something wrong with them, not you. Okay. Awesome reading for you, Scorpio. Really, really enjoyed this one. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, I encourage you to go check out my other channel, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.